Hey guys, I'm going to take you for a little walk down the boardwalk in Halifax. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Dave from Ghetto Van Adventures. Nephew Nick is here. Hello. And what are they going to do? We're going to go for a walk on the Halifax boardwalk. Yeah, we're going to check it out. Uh, Halifax has this navy here. That's right. Um, so you can see some navy boats. They have a cruise ship in here. There's uh, one, maybe two. There's 300 years of, of naval history really in the city. Pier it's a 21 is what? Pier 21 is just around the corner and that's yeah. where the immigrants used to get off the boat after World War II. That's where my father got off the boat actually. Yep. And uh, now there's Cut a- off the boat. That, yeah. And now there's a farmer's market in there on the weekends and it's uh, very multicultural and multi everything. It's great. Yeah. Lots of great food. But we're not going in there because no. it is boiling in there and it is packed today because it is the weekend. That's anyway, right. let's shoot some video and uh, let's hope you enjoy it. I think it's huge, eh? That's the farmer's market. This little statue that's down here, well, not little, it's pretty big. Give you a little look. This is where all the hipsters hang out. It's hipster town? So there you go, that's the pier. Interesting. Oh, and they have different places. They have a little display over on the side there, also. Smell the sea. Mm. Smell you can smell it. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Nice. Now across, across is Dartmouth. That's right. Yep. And there's George's Island. We can probably talk with George. Huh? So oh, can hold I on. A little bit? Oh. Okay, there's a view right down. Okay, so I'll give you a little bearing of where we are. That there is called, let's see if I get my finger. That there is called? George's Island. Why don't you get in front of the lens a little bit? Okay. So, uh, so the history of George's Island, it's pretty old. If you look at it, there's some fortifications that were built on it from the American Civil War days. I think that's that's a vestige, believe it or not. And I think Halifax was a neutral port, I believe. And so there were actually Confederation ships. They're not Confederation. What are they called? Yeah, the Confederacy. Yeah. The Confederation ships were up here doing resupply. And so that actually happened. And so anyway, there, uh, I think it was like a prison at one point, And now there's a, a big population of snakes on there. It's owned by the, um, what do you call it, public works or Par Parks Canada. Parks Canada. It's owned by yeah. Parks Canada. Yeah. And they're trying to put tours on it, but you can't actually go on it yet. There's no ferry that goes across the moment. So there you go. If you want some snakes, want to see snakes, that's the place George to Silent. That's right. There's a guy here that rents out um, CDUs. Oh yeah? And, uh, they've, they've had many a close call with the merchant shipping that comes in here. I'm surprised that... Well, I guess people don't know how to use them. Well, I mean, you have to have... I mean, for any other kind of boat, you need actually a, a boat of license. Like, yeah, but even with a CDU, like people that are on a, a regular boat don't realize what a CDU can do. That's right. There's a CDU as we spoke about. CDU. There's Halifax up there. Okay, these are street lights. And this is an attempt at art. Not modern art. I guess. I don't know. It's more of a, an obstruction and a distraction. Really. Wonder how many people have tripped over that. Wonder how much it costs. 
Yeah, really, eh? You've been in there? You've been in there, you said, right? In here? Uh. I don't think it was this one. I think it was the next one. Yeah, that restaurant bar it used to be called the, um, it wasn't Sea Smoke. It used to be uh, some teppanyaki place. Uh. So that's where we were. I guess they changed management. Theodore. Or is it Theodore? Sorry. <laughs> it's Theodore the tugboat. <laughs> <laughs> Just cruising along through Halifax. Oh yeah. Here will give you a little idea of what it is. Here's where we just came from. Now that right there is a cruise ship. Isn't that nice? Look at this. I know, isn't it great? So can you rent these or are they I just here? I think it's first come first serve. Kind of like, oh, yeah, I'd be down here and I'd stay here all day. Hop on and away you go. Hey, little goose coming in again. I think these little harbor trips on this one or the tall ship is like 20 bucks for a ticket, I think. Something Still, like it's kind of cool. It is cool. No, it's great. I'm not saying you shouldn't. You should. You definitely should go. I should just drive around with one of those in my van. I know. That's pretty Okay, you want to give an yeah. explanation what these boats are? Yeah, so every major port will have a pilotage authority and, and what a pilot does is a pilot will, these guys are experts, they know the port, they know all the depths, all the boys, all the dangers. They'll go out to the mouth of the uh, harbor, mm -hmm. they'll embark into a merchant vessel, whatever it is, mm -hmm. and they will be typically navigating the ship in. So we've got a container terminal in the north end and there's also by the seaport in the south end. So they'll take them right in, they've got all the- Wherever they need to go. Where they need to go, they talk to the tugs for the master of the ship and everything. So that's these guys. Very good. Yeah. That's a big yacht. Is that what $5 million looks like? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe more. Oh, cow's ice cream. And by the way, you can rent Segways here. I like that. The beer garden's here. In the afterlife, you must be searching for an empire to wander straight. Another needle in the I don't know if I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's one of the tall ships that you can take a tour on in Halifax. I wonder why there's so many people there. Oh yeah, it's a beer garden. Now there's a job. Okay, this thing is called the wave, but to me it looks like a tongue. It does. Well, that's kind of cool for the kids to play on. It is. Sea gum. I don't know what's in there. What is that? That ship there? I don't. I don't know. I. I don't know about that one. So we cut up onto the road here because the boardwalk's closed. They're doing some stuff to it. Now, Alexander Keith's beer distillery is down there. Yeah. The historic properties are over here. Yeah. They all kind of look like that building there. Yeah, beautiful. And guess what? We're up close. Guess who it is? Oh, yeah. So uh, we're on the other side. There's some construction there. Now, you see right here, this little circle here, some nights. This is just packed with motorcycles. Right, yeah. It's really neat. And one other thing, if you come down here, you better eat before you come because all you smell is delicious food. It's and good, it's yeah. a killer.
Okay guys, and this is about the start finish line depending on which way you're going. Right Nick? Oh. This is the north end. Cow's ice cream. Cow's ice cream, pride of Nova Scotia. Sorry, pride of PEI. Yeah, what yeah, I, yeah. I but it's in Nova Scotia That's too. That's right. So, you know what? If you're zipping around Halifax um, and you want to check out the boardwalk, you really should. It is absolutely stunning. You can stay down here for hours. You can eat down here, have a few beers, look out at the water. Take a ferry across. Yeah, it's awesome. Okay, guys. Hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. You guys take care and be safe on the road. Smash that button. <laughs> Climb on in. Hey. Climb on in. Yeah, that's pretty good right there.